Yeah. That your your uh, linebacker group. How how do you look at them as far as you might play some three four, you might play some four three. How, how do you begin to evaluate your guys? I mean, do you look at them as, as four three guys or three four guys or just football? Um, I, again, I know this is not what you're going to want to hear. I can promise you, <laughs> but like it's not. The starting point is not that line of thinking. Is what can this guy do, and what is his skill set, and how can we put him in a position to make plays? And that may seem general, but that is the truth, yeah. and and that's how we look at players in terms of valuation, and uh, and we kind of go from there. It's not the other way around. That that's first. Right. So right. yeah, right. yeah. When you look at uh, Raekwon, yes. Uh, what, what do you think he needs to do to, to improve from, from, uh, from last year? Because, you know, he didn't play as a rookie. Yeah, he, he, he got hurt. Yeah, last year was kind of his first year. Okay. What do I think he needs to do to improve? Yeah. And to be honest, keep, keep doing, keep building on his strengths, the things he does well. He's, he's powerful. He's explosive. He's, he's a leader. He's confident. Um, he's vocal. All those intangibles playing linebacker are always important. And he had those coming out of college. So, you know, keep doing the things he's done that have helped him to get here in the first place. Does that make sense? Yep, that makes yeah. sense. No, because Raekwon is, I mean, he's, he's he's a guy who, yeah, you think, I just think of him as a real prototypical 4 3 middle linebacker. Yeah. That might be some of short. Yeah, uh, yeah. And, that, and that's kind of what I'm wondering because, you know, like Baker, I, I see him kind of as how I've only seen him. Yeah. And so that's that's the only way that I know him. And yeah. So that's what I'm kind of wondering, you know, what else can these guys do and, and how, how versatile are they? Yeah. Right yeah, I know. Abs yeah, absolutely. I only see uh, except for Kiko. Now, we've seen, yeah. we saw Kiko in the middle a couple of years ago, and then we've seen him on the outside, but, you know, he's yep. a veteran guy. Um, as, as far as your, your linebackers, I, yeah. pretty young group, right? A pretty so, pretty young group for yeah. sure. Um, how, how do you feel when you when you look at what they've done on tape? Uh, how, how do you feel about how they perform? Um, how they, area for no, what I'm excited about with my group is I have a bunch of young, hungry guys that want to learn. They want to compete. They want to do everything right. They want to be right. And, yeah. and and when you want to do things the right way, that's a great great point to start. You know, so there's no. Uh, you know, I'd attest to the character anybody in that room, which is which is awesome. That's how you build a team. I truly believe it. that's the foundation. Yep. So, um, yeah, the, the fact that they're young, that doesn't bother me. We have a great leader in, in Kiko who's going on his seventh year. So he's a great example. And what else could you ask for, in my opinion? Yeah. So, I mean, I know it's, again, you may not believe it, but I, that's how I feel <laughs> right, about right. it. I mean, I'm good. serious. That's, so, that's all I yeah, want to yeah. hear. Yeah. Um, Andrew Van Ginkle. Yeah, it's Van Ginkle, right? That's the, yes, yeah. yes. Um, he, he seems to be a good uh, third down pass pass specialist linebacker. Is that the correct read on him? I don't want to. No, no, no. That's good. That's yeah. good. No, he he has a unique skill set. In my mind, Van Ginkle, he can do a lot of things. You know, he can from special teams to rush the passer to, um, you know, he's physical. He's a good tackler. He's a good athlete. He just he. He does a lot of things as an overall football player, and as you know, as as, as you can kind of catch on to, that's kind of how we look at him. He's a football player first. He's always around the football. He makes plays, and he's smart. And we just like him overall and what he adds to the team. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. 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 No problem. All right. No problem. Rob, real quick, can you go through the importance of being assertive to the linebacker crew, of saying the play call once they get it? Yeah. Um, to me, the, playing in the NFL is all about communication, especially at the linebacker position. So, I mean, that that's essential. So all, all those intangibles, not just communication, but the way you say things, um, you are the quarterback of the defense. So if you sound hesitant, people may not believe your communication, even though you may be saying the right thing. So it's all in your presence, your demeanor, um, and what you say. So, you know, the way we'll say on defense, you know, we're all wrong, we're all right. So if you say something, it may be wrong, but say it the right way and we believe it, and we execute it, then then that's okay. We can live to play another down. So communication is essential, essential for us. And do you feel, uh, is there, do you think the linebackers have an added pressure with 
linebacker coach, defensive coordinator, coach linebackers, head coach, coach linebackers at one point, I believe. Everyone kind of has a feel for the linebacker position. Oh, there, there's no doubt. They understand. There's one thing. They're going to get coached. They're, they, they're going to get coached. They don't have to. They don't have to doubt that. That's a that's a great thing. You know, in, in my opinion, you're going to be. Uh, uh, nothing's going to go unseen. You're going to be. We're going to get the best out of you. Everybody's going to. You're always being evaluated by first level, second level, third level. I mean, that's to me. That's how you be great. That's how you're going to be great. So. And uh, have you faced a situation in coaching where? Two teammates like Ray Corn and Jerome have, you know, they played in college and now they're here. So it's kind of like almost like a little brother. Yeah. Came here. No, absolutely. Um, for whatever reason, off the top of my head, I can't think of one. I'm sure I have. I'm almost sure. But for how close they are in, in age as well, not just went to the same school. No, not that not that I can think of. And it's great when you know somebody like that. There's a trust. There's a transparency, you know, from from day one when you walk in, because you know somebody, you know, you know who they are as a person first and foremost. So, that's that's only a bonus for us. So. You have a new addition to the draft, Van Ginkle. What yeah. do you like about him? Again, I, I think I may have said this last time, but just just that he overall is a football player first. He's always around the ball. He's a good tackler. Yeah, we can go through all the traits, but. He's a productive, instinctive football player that's physical. And all the all the things we say we value from a personnel standpoint, he is those things. He's tough, he's physical, he's athletic, he's versatile. You know, what they're in my opinion, what's there not to like, so